Hey guys, so I'm going to show you a demonstration of Wally 5, which I haven't taken out of its box for the past, I don't know, four years or something. So here it goes. This is the remote I got here for controlling the robot. So basically, uh, I'm not going to drive him around, right, because he's on the table right now. Okay, check this out. I got to bring the box up, so that's the blue switch. So I got what is it? Two motors in the front and one motor in the back. Pretty much geared down and raising it on these middle pillars here. So while that's happening, I'm going to stick the head out. And so now it has finished raising the water. I'm just going to plug the eyes in. Give it a second here. Alright, yeah, yeah. Okay, there. The eyes are good. So once the uh, body is raised, as you can see, we can click the red switch and that will, uh, that will bring the legs out. Now I can bring the body back down. And we can also take the arms out. Or not. So technically I can drive him around now. I'm going to attempt to do so. Maybe just right and left. Hopefully uh, I won't crash. So there's ultrasonic sensors on each side that have a random, is it random? I don't remember. I think it's a, it's just a sequence of events. But what's interesting is when I ask to bring the arms back in, it will automatically bring them back to their horizontal position in order to be able to do the, the, the tuck them back inside. So let's give that a try now. Yeah, not bad. Okay, well, it worked half. It's 3.30. It kind of worked half. I don't know why that one didn't come out. It's been a while since I've investigated the program. Oh, well. So, that's that. My demo is over now. Let me uh, bring the head, the body back down.
now the tracks back in. That's my favorite part, I think. It's really, really cool when it does that. And I'll bring it back down. And then about halfway down, I can bring the head in. Because the head takes about half time less than the body to come down. Here's an interesting feature, it's uh, the initialization phase, when you start a brick, for example in this case my hand is uh, not in its uh, initial position which is tucked in, this hand is like in some state, so when I start the brick, the first thing is going to check is to see if the touch center here is pressed, if it's not, it's going to come out completely, and then it's going to start going up until I press the button, telling it to start going down until it presses the button, telling it that it's horizontal, allowing it at this point to go back in until the touch sensor is pressed. So let's give that a try. So it's going up until I press the button. Now it's going to come down and wait for me to tell it when it's horizontal. So just about here. And at this point, it can come back inside. And now we have the perfectly formed cube of Wally. Thanks for watching.